Right everyone, Web Electric here. Right, I'm going to do a bottle cutting competition for the rest of the year and you can win some prizes if you enter this. I usually do a shooting competition each year but I didn't get time to do it this time. So, bottle cutting contest for prizes. Alright, we're going to have three different categories and I'll explain the rules and what's going to happen. So the three different categories will be knives, machetes and swords. Now you can join in with one category. So pick what you think you'll be best at, do that, because I don't want one person winning all three categories. And what it will be is basically cutting a single milk jug into as many full rings as you can possibly get. And we will include the top and the base. So for each cut that's a complete ring, that'll be you know a point. So it'll be the top, ring, 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 and the bottom. And whoever gets the most wins. So what we do, I think what we do as well, is you can enter three times. So if you enter and then someone beats you, you've got a chance to try and beat them. Right, so we go over some of the rules now. So for the knife category, the blade has to be 10 inches or less. That would be classed as a knife. I'll be honest with you, it's actually quite difficult doing these bottle um, challenges with anything smaller than that because of the size of the bottles. Right, so for the machete category, we're going to go 10 inches to 18 inches. Doesn't have to be a machete, it can be anything, but if the blade comes between 10 and 18 inches, it would be classed as a machete. Okay, so that's what you use for the machete category. And for the sword category, it will be anything with an 18 inch blade or longer. So you can pretty much use anything. This is what I'll be using for my first go. So 18 inch blade or bigger classes as a sword. The base that you're going to put the bottles on. I want it to be 8 inches by 8 inches and no bigger than that. You can go smaller if you want, but you'll be giving yourself a bit of a disadvantage. has to be 8 by 8 or less. If you've got a bigger one, just cut a piece of 8 by 8 piece of wood, put that on top. You know, As long as it's about an inch thick, the bottle should still fall off. You can put the bottle anywhere on that 8 by 8 base, but if someone gets... 10 rings and their bottle was in the middle and you do 10 rings but your bottle was on the edge where it would go that way the person who had it in the middle would win because theirs would have been harder because the bottles gradually come off the base if that makes sense all of the slices have to be full rings but if you get a really close ring we can count that as you know 10 rings and a half ring so we can sort of go from there and see who wins what bottles to cut so what I want you to cut are four pint milk bottle jugs now the easiest thing to cut reasonably easy to get in the UK this is open to anyone but if in your country you can't get this because I suspect the Americans don't do the four pint ones I'm not sure get as close as you possibly can and that's basically it. And the prizes, I'm not decided yet, but probably a merchandise t-shirt or anything else you want from my merchandise line. Don't have to even be these designs. You can pick a mug, a t-shirt, or I may make you a knife if you're over 18. And maybe some other prizes, some crossbow quitters, some of the stuff I make. Um, yeah, depending on what you want. But each of the categories will win a prize. So there'll be a prize for the, the knife person, a prize for the machete person, and a prize for the sword person.
record yourself cutting the bottles. Make sure you let me know, because if you make these videos and you don't tell me, I'll never know. Maybe hashtag it with... I'll, I'll add here what to do a hashtag for it. And put that in the description and I'll be able to find them easily then. But I'd rather you come to this video and tell me you've done it. Right, so that's how to do it. And then what I want you to do, upload that video. Title it, whatever title I say to title it. And then at each, on each Sunday for the next quite a few weeks, I don't know how long, I will take all of that week's entries and make one long video of them and then at the end we'll have a table of the scores. And then once everyone's had their free goes, we'll, um, or, or at a certain date, we'll pick the winner, you know, whoever's the winner. Right? So hopefully that all makes sense. If it doesn't and I've forgotten something, it'll be in the description. Anyone can join. If you're under 18, though, you won't get a knife or something like that. You can only be in one category, though. So you have to pick knife, machete or sword. All of the, all of the things have to be milk jugs, otherwise I won't count it. And you have to do it the way I said. Film it, let me know, and then you could win a prize, potentially. And I'm going to be joining in, because if I win, I don't have to send the prizes out. <laughs> I may, if I do win, I'll send them out to the second place ones. Alright? So there you go. Hopefully you join in. Let me know. I won't do it this Sunday, but next Sunday will be the first set of results. You don't have to get it in by then, but yeah. I'll just gradually top them up as we go along. And also, you don't have to do three goes if you don't want to. Because if someone beats you, you can have another go. Alright? So you don't have to do three. If someone beats you and you want to try and beat them, you've got three chances altogether to beat them. Right, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be looking forward to see who enters. And as I say, anyone can enter, right? I'll be looking forward to it. See you later.